Hey guys, it's Wednesday, so it's card of the week. Today we have a 1959 Bazooka card. So a little different uh, from the era of the Tops and the Bowman before that. We have a Bazooka card. So this wasn't in like packs of cards. This was in a box of bubblegum. And it actually wasn't even inside of it. It was on the bottom. So I brought this box here. Um, I had actually opened this in a recent Daily Brigandy video. So I kind of want to show you how the setup was for this card. So... Uh, picture this being a pack of a box for gum. So inside of it, you would have your, you know, your pieces of gum. But on the bottom, like here, this is where the mantle card or any of the cards from this bazooka set, um, that's how they came. And they were actually um, inlaid in here and they had a, a dotted border around it where you were supposed to cut them out of. So these are hand cut cards. And typically they come in, you know, pretty horrible condition because the fact that, you think about it at your candy store or your local uh, deli, wherever you would get the gum, you know, they would slide around on the counter. And of course, that would make the surfaces uh, get scratched and worn um, and faded, etc. So right here, we have um, a PSA graded authentic example. And what's striking about this card is just the, uh, the clarity on it and the condition overall. Um, you'll notice the, the borders are still white. Um, the color is bold and it's just an exceptionally clear card overall. Um, and the corners, the edges, everything, although it's hand cut. Um, so another thing I, I was saying before about the dotted lines and being hand cut. So picture um, basically a perforation, but it's actually a dotted line going around the entire card. So kids were instructed to cut on the dotted line and you know that's how you would take the card out. So um, a, towards PSA and SGC's rules is that if the perforation is actually showing on the card, then they will give it a numeric grade. But rarely did a kid actually cut perfectly on the perforation or, or outside of the dotted line. Typically, they would cut them uh, just like this. So um, I think there's 110 graded in the PSA census. Of those 110, mm -hmm. well, 100 of them are graded uh, authentic, non-numerical. So it's very common to have it um, this way. And um, as you know, if you've purchased authentic cards um, you know, in the past, authentics have a wide range of pricing because you can have an authentic for many different reasons. So it could be such horrible condition that they give it an authentic, or it could be a case like this where the card presents beautifully. It just doesn't fall in line with uh, PSA rules or SGC rules. So in this case, you have a superb authentic uh, card and you get price, uh, big price differences because of it. So I just want to flip it around here as well. You'll notice it's a blank back. Again, it was on the bottom of the pack uh, or the bottom of the box, so uh, it should be. Um, let's talk a little about the set itself. So the set is 23 cards. Mantle is the headliner. It's 1959. You have other Hall of Famers, uh, Duke Snyder, Willie Mays, Ernie Banks. Um, and then to put the whole set together, you need all 23. But again, Mantle is the real headliner here. So this is a, um, a great card. And it's especially rare. As I said, there's only 110 in the PSA census uh, total. So it's not like these top, the tops cards or the Bowman cards where when you look at the census and you see thousands of cards submitted, uh, hundreds of cards in each grade. Um, there are 110 cards in all grades of this bazooka card. Um, also, I should have mentioned this right in the beginning. You'll notice it's a lot larger than most baseball cards, any of the tops issues of, from the time, um, and it's in nice color. Um, so they did a great uh, overall job with the card, and um, it's, you know, a collector's favorite. And uh, uh, I, I love the card, and especially when you can find it in superb condition like this without any scratches uh, or main, main defects, um, it's considered a premium, uh, even as an authentic. So uh, if you have any questions about the bazooka set, the 59 bazooka set, um, or, you know, any other uh, mantle cards, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching The Daily Brigandy. We'll see you tomorrow.